Hi, I'm Grace, and in this video tutorial, I'll show you how to create a stylish magazine template in Affinity Publisher. This two page magazine spread has a simple contemporary layout, and it makes a great foundation for creating a complete magazine design. I've also included a free downloadable template of both the completed inside spread and a matching cover design for both Affinity Publisher and Adobe InDesign. So make sure to check that out. For this tutorial, you'll need access to Affinity Publisher and you'll also need to download a couple of different fonts and a photo to use on your design. You can find suggestions for these in the details below the video. Okay, ready to get started with creating your magazine layout? Awesome, let's go. So first things first, open up Affinity Publisher and go to File and New. In this video, we'll be creating a single spread for a digital magazine or an e-magazine, which can be exported as an online friendly PDF. So with that in mind, make sure the type of the document is set to web. And for a default e-magazine page size, set the page width to 612 PX and the page height to 792 PX. To ensure the magazine will appear crisp and clear on retina displays, make sure to set the DPI to 300. Then increase the number of pages to three to allow for a cover page and a single spread. And make sure that facing pages is also checked under the pages section. Set the inner and bottom margins to 80, 80 pixels and outer and top margins to 75 pixels. For a digital magazine, a bleed won't be required. So you can keep this set to a default zero pixels. Then click create. So next up, go to the View menu and Guides Manager. And from here, we want to increase the number of columns to two and set the gutter width to 1515 pixels before clicking Close. We're going to use a very simple color palette in our design, just orange, black, and also an off-white. So to create these, in the Swatches panel, choose Add Global Color from the drop-down menu. Name this swatch off-white and choose RGB hex sliders from the menu below. Type in F8FAEF for the hex code before clicking add. Repeat this process to create a second RGB swatch, naming it orange, and set the hex code of this to FF6F17, and then click add as before. Okay, cool. So now double click on the master A icon in the master pages panel to bring it up on screen. And here is a good place to create running headers and page numbers for your magazine. So first up, let's create a background color for the pages. Select the rectangle tool from the tools panel and drag across the whole of the master spreads left hand page, setting the fill of this to off white. Copy and paste the rectangle, moving it over to cover the right hand page. We can add running headers and page numbers to the master spread, which will allow these to be applied across multiple pages through the magazine when you come to create more pages. So for this, choose the frame text tool from the tools panel and drag to create a text frame across the top left corner of the left hand page. Type in the name of the magazine and from the character panel, set the font to BW Modelica, size 2.5 points, all caps and an orange font color. Copy and paste the text frame, moving it over to the top of the right hand page and from the paragraph panel, switch the text to align right. Paste again and move this text frame to the bottom corner of the left hand page and edit the text to just read two forward slashes. Insert a couple of spaces after the slashes and with your type cursor still in the frame, go up to the insert menu and go to fields and page number. A little hashtag symbol is going to appear in the text frame and this indicates that this will be replaced with a page number on the relevant pages in the actual document. Select the page number text frame and copy and paste it, moving it over to the right side of the page and switching the text to align right. Okay, so now of our master pages sorted, we're ready to start working on our magazine spread. Use the frame text tool again to create a single tall text frame resting against the left and bottom margin, filling the far left column. 
Then click on the small triangle shape on the bottom right of this text frame to create a linked text frame. Click and drag to the right of the first text frame to create a second linked column. OK, so in here, type an introductory sentence, setting the font to Artifact CF, size two points, and set the leading to three points. From the paragraph panel, increase the space after paragraph to two points. and set the font color to black. You can then either type in text directly, paste it over from a Word document, or go to text and insert filler text to create temporary text for your columns while you work on your design. You can add more interest to your column text by pulling out the first line in an orange font color, a heavyweight, and all caps letters. OK, let's switch to the pen tool. And using this, we're going to draw an image frame that spans most of the right hand page with a narrower section across the top of the left hand page. OK, so on this frame, right click and choose Convert to Picture Frame. Head up to the File menu and choose Place. Navigate to the image of the robot dog that you downloaded and click Open. Use Shift to scale the image inside the frame before clicking Flip Horizontal in the top controls panel to flip the image so that the dog is facing towards the right edge of the spread. And you can also rotate the image inside the frame slightly to allow more of the robot to be visible. OK, with your image done, we can now have a look at creating a more dramatic typography effect on the layout. So let's create a very large text frame matching the height of the text columns overlapping the right column and extending across the width of the right page. Type in Go and set the font to BW Modelica, size 127 points and the font color to orange. OK, so from the Layers panel, which is docked on the right side of the workspace, you can change the blending mode of the Go text frame to Linear Burn. With the right column text frame selected, click on the Move to Front button in the top controls panel to bring the column text forward and make it more legible. Use the Frame Text tool to create a text frame across the top right of page two. And this is going to be a good place for a pull quote. So type in some text and set the font to Artiflex CF Bold, size 10 points, align right, and an orange font color. You can highlight individual words and set these in bold italic for emphasis if you like. So whether you create a single spread or a whole magazine, the process of exporting your artwork in Affinity Publisher for sharing online is really quick and simple. So once you finish working on your design, go up to File and choose Export. Click on PDF from the options running along the top of the window. And then choose PDF Digital High Quality from the preset menu. And you also want to set the DPI to 300. And this will ensure your magazine will appear really crisp and clear on large size and retina screens as well. And then you're ready to click Export. In the next window, you can name your file and click Save. You can upload this PDF to online magazine subscription sites like Readly, Zinio, or Texture. So your magazine spread is finished and exported and ready to share with others. Great job. In this tutorial, you've picked up a range of techniques and skills you can apply to editorial projects and other magazine design work using Affinity Publisher.
Remember that a free download of the magazine cover and inside spread for both Affinity Publisher and Adobe InDesign are included with this tutorial as well, allowing you to get started quickly with creating your own awesome e-magazine design. So make sure to check out the link in the details below this video. My name is Grace and a big thank you for joining me for this Envato Tuts Plus tutorial.